serving in the military, you get more of a purpose. You're doing something big. What can be bigger than uh, defending your country? You know, it was a, an honor for me to serve. When I turned 17 uh, in the spring of 44, I enlisted immediately in the Navy. Out of my, out of my graduating class at this uh, small high school, uh, essentially every one of them went, went off in one way or the other to the military. I would say some of my fondest memories of Afghanistan, I would say the sound of war and the noise and the lights and the heat are, are really my most memorable experiences. And you'd think they would be bad experiences, but they're really not. It's, it's where you are in the moment and, and how you handle those. Well, the primary mission of the U.S. Coast Guard was uh, air sea search and rescue. With a lot of job satisfaction, realize or recognize that you've saved people's lives that were in peril or um, in danger. I think it's fair to say that as a young person, um, particularly after my father died uh, when I was in high school, I wasn't a very focused student um, and I wasn't very dedicated to any one thing uh, and lacking in a little bit of direction. I've come to appreciate I was probably not the only young person like that. Military service for me was transformational because it really impressed upon me uh, that I was part of something larger. If there's anything that I've learned, particularly as I've gotten older, and particularly given the work that we do in our company, it is that veterans make a contribution that few other citizens in America can make. We often talk about freedom. We often talk about liberty. We often talk about the values that we cherish. But it's very clear to me that veterans are the absolute guarantors of those freedoms and those liberties at a time when it's needed the most. So I want to personally thank you for me, for my family, for my two sons who are living in a better world because of your service. Thank you.